I'm Miranda Esvin White, and I wanted to share with you another little mini workout that I do every day long, once, twice, three times a day sometimes, uh, because I'm working at a desk. Most of the time, I'm working at a desk. So I want to stand up and sort of shake everything out. So often, this is, I'll, I just do these. I don't know how often, I can't even say how often. But so I start off with just, just what we would do in a workout. Just I just start shaking, just swaying side to side, just to loosen up my shoulders, to loosen up my legs, and I twist around my body. So let's say I should do eight to make it easier for you, but you can do how many ever you want. And then just start swaying to drop, and I drop my head and I do that zombie, but I just want to sw sway my back to get that fascia stretching. So I just do a lovely, some lovely head hanging so that the, the traction of the weight of your head literally pulls on my neck so it feels good. And I sway gently back and forth and then roll up. Finishing with the arms above my head. So I can let the blood rush down and it just feels lovely. Breathe in and just move around. So just everything should be relaxed because this is not a workout. This is just to take the stress out of your body from sitting so much. So then I'll open out my arms. Oh my goodness, I love this one so much. It just pulls on my, on my shoulder blades that are so tight after sitting at a desk and straighten out the arms. And then I do the shoulder blast, which is so amazing. So you take your fingers, bend your knees, round your back, and pull the arms apart. So now, this shoulder blast, because, I mean, computer work looks easy, but it plays havoc on your upper body. It really does. It's just, so this is working the shoulder blades, just lovely massage and just indulge, just Feel how good it is to relieve your back. And then take one wrist, pull it, and just wiggle around gently, massaging that upper back, massaging your shoulder joint, and mm, feels so good. So I might hang in these positions for a little bit, just indulging in how good they make me feel. So you can do them as long as you want. Okay, so, oh, yeah. Okay, so then I'll do some exercise. So I, I might grab the wall or a chair or something because I don't want to have to worry about my balance and do kicks because I know it's really important to get some strength in the old butt because when you've been sitting, your bum starts to get weak, your hips weaken. That is a fact. So we want to keep the hips strong. So I just do kicks and I kick as much as I can so now remember, when you're using a chair, stand behind the chair. Don't stand beside it. Stand behind it, because if you stand beside it, you're gonna pull your weight back. So I'm standing behind it. My leg in front, point your foot, get your knee as straight as you can, and bend your supporting leg. And then just go for it. So I'll just kick away. Do as many as you want. And make sure that you're making your leg lower with control, that you're not banging it down. So this is gonna strengthen your hips. And I do these swaying back and forth, these little fan kicks, because I know the damage I am doing to my hips when I sit so much. And I know I have to counteract that damage. So I do. So I'll stand up, take a little break, have my tea, yummy, and Peek at my computer, change legs, other leg, just keep kicking. You can do, count your kicks, 16, 30, 60, just kick away, because that's strengthening those glutes. And just remember, they get easier after a while. <laughs> okay, and then you're gonna do your little fan kicks, so I'll just do them, move my chair just around, because you need that range of motion for all the muscles of the, of the glutes, okay? So just keep going. The more you do, you can't injure yourself doing these things, especially if you're holding on to a chair. You're going slowly, 
So you'll stop when your leg says, ah, okay? Now, go diagonally behind you, not straight back. That's a different muscle group, but we want to get the medius, the gluteus medius. So kick behind you diagonally and accent at the top. So you're just gonna go up. And when you're doing this, you say to yourself, this is good for me, this is good for me, this is good for me. It's gonna stop me from having weak hips and having hip pain. So whether you like it or not, just tell yourself it's good for you, change sides. It's gonna get rid of hip pain, keep you young, keep you vibrant. So just keep kicking. So you can do these as many as you want, like eight, 16, 32, but keep alternating sides. Finally, for your feet. So we need to keep our feet, the flexibility, the mobility of our feet. So you're gonna lift your heel, but make sure that your knee, the tibia, and the arch are in line. So you just go up and down, down and down, as often as you want. This is a totally harmless exercise. You cannot hurt yourself doing it. Flex your foot. Just up and down, the mobility of your feet. Now, as you watch my calf, you see what happens to my calf as I do it? It contracts, gets thinner, and then it comes up, bulging. So what we're doing is we're pulsating the calf muscle. It's giving you some energy because it's pulling the blood up. So just use your feet as much as you can. Change to the other foot. So it's just foot mobility. You can do this standing anywhere. Not at the grocery store. I think it's too obvious though. I do it everywhere. But, you know, in your bathroom, in your bedroom, beside your desk. I'll sit down. I do these feet exercises. I do feet exercises in bed. I lie in bed with my feet. I do the feet exercises watching TV with my feet on the floor or up. Feet exercises, just work on your feet mobility. Rotations, flexing and pointing, rotations, just Move them, move the joints. So those are my standing exercises for you to do every day to keep yourself feeling light and young and healthy and strong. Thank you very much.